circles and Lulek. I cannot be hurt! Well, I can. Welcome to the trap. Keep up my game here. Welcome to a new game we've added on the channel. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. One of those games I've had on the looking forward in a while. Let's see if I'm playing. Now, I heard it's supposed to be something like an RPG where we can hunt ghosts and exercise them. But because of the story, I don't know much about it. Because I'm stepping sure I don't know much about the story when we're walking into it. I know it's got to exercise ghosts and potentially hit big certain decisions that will fit the story. I like games like that. Where you can fit the story, depending on which way you go. It could be a good route or a bad route. But we'll see what happens in the story. Hopefully, this story is good. And the gameplay is good, I hope so. We're just gonna hop into this thing. Let's see where the journey takes us. Hope you enjoy it with me. Let me know you're enjoying it by hitting the like button and subscribing and sharing with everybody. Without further ado, let's go! I'm crazy for this, but we'll try hard for now. We'll see. I ain't going very hard yet. This is an RPG. I ain't risking that. Oh, that's the artwork. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm oh. serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. <laughs> be a good pair. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. And I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered, 
dead as alive, we are complex That's and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the well, curse. Did. Deleted June 7th, 1695. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. <laughs> London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Place cold. Raining. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else oh. that work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first Wait, time, me. but I don't disagree. I wasted, but I'm mad. It doesn't help us not wasted. Oh, okay. Okay, so basically, like, got a warp. Got a warp gameplay, basically. Okay, got you. Oh, what was that? I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Let's look around first. Make sure heard that. Yeah. Looks steady enough. See you in a minute. Hold on a second. Um, Antea. I want to see some. Come on now. Come on, go through. Hey, give me the option. Whatever. Oh, you can help me for this, though. <laughs> Whoa! Watch out! Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. Really? I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. <laughs> but it was what I was gonna go through, but he won't give me the option at the first. Up down here. Okay, so this is gonna name I can't tell you. And a guy named Red. Hope I can remember those names. Get that help with them. Oh, what was that? Here we go. Yeah. Too slow. Too easy. Come on. Oh. How you dodge in this game? How you dodge? Okay, circle. Okay, circle. Yeah. How do you dodge? Uh, 
Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? There you are. Same, but I managed. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? No, it's gonna be both. There? Meet up with you in a minute, Red. Get there in a sec. Gotta watch out for more than those. I was left. I was like, get to the board? You hit him. Go on this corner. Make sure. RPG like type of game, guys. You play here. More wonders. Where? Right there. Behind you. Hi. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Good job, apprentice. Can't tell how long these people are in. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't go well. Alright. Oh. Hold on. Management. Second with the weapon spills the management gauge. The management gauge is full. Press to manage your target. Time to leave for good. Huh. Ooh. Got like a special a little bit. Got it. I can try to remember that the purple is die. But it's gonna be weird. Kinda of like how the gameplay of God of War God of War is. But you have to struggle when to dodge. No. Damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date? I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again. And the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. The mother now lies dead. I shall join her soon. The thing is, is walk the roads. Terrible spirits took us. Blue Eden's cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you. Run. These people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? badly for the case situation is worse than you thought let's wait to hear what Charles has to say okay. 
Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? I leave that out. I appreciate it though. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good Lord. to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles. Good day, sir. You'll be Haskell's banishers, I take it. Antea Duarte. This is Red McGraith. Hugh Bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? Where's the end? We're expected at the tavern. Where might we find it? The King's Arm. You can't miss it for the lamps are lit. The school is now a bunkhouse, and the meeting house cold and dark, but the tavern shines yet. Well then, let us be thankful for small mercies. Appreciate it. Where are the children? Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. Thanks. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. Good luck, then, to the both of you. What do I have for? That's what I'm saying. You better lock it. <laughs> I better stop. Leave him alone. You'll be the banishers then. Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Antea Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Where's the inn? Could you point us to the tavern? We're expected. The King's Arms. I'll not point it out to you as I disapprove of drinking. It's the large building next to the gallows. All right, then. The gallows. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles right. from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Right, I appreciate it. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Oh, 
knock him on that. Here. Yeah, that has to be Gallo back right there. There's the Right there. I'll take that. Leather. Watch the clay resources. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. Of course. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thick Skin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? Yeah, we did. We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed soul. select woman can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave, or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, we'll save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. 
I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. So no way out. What do you think caused it? What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Where did they go? Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem, which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said, as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Hmm. Look all around, yes. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is, but we do it all the same, because we must, right? Because we must. I must say it's cool, but something about him made me think something's up around here. We'll see for now. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Appreciate it. Hey, don't assume this time. 
I'm the boss here. Meet Esther at her own our house. I was reading too fast, so I started stuttering again. Damn it, Charles. Those are cursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, oh, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. They don't. The cemetery is closed. By order of the governor. Path to the meeting house is closed. By the governor's decree. Curfew. Hours of darkness. Stay in your home. Let's go no turmoil. Governor F. A scale. A curfew? But why? Uh, the first resort of every self respecting oppressor. Huh? That curfew thing is going. Especially between the years of 2019 and above. Y'all know, y'all know? We should go to Esther. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. I got you. Be there in a second. Hold a second, y'all. All right, I'm back. Now, real quick. Head up your early. Yes. A moment more of your time, if you don't mind. You know Charles Davenport. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. barely slept for fear you would not come. Well, I'm at a loss. Storm. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Oh. Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. Oh. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, oh. I promise I will know no rest. 
until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What is that note? Oh. Once joyful, an educated good friend of Antea and Red is now a young widow and lost her anger and just aboard on a sea of mourning. Map. Got you. Governor Haskell. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still. Good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington oh, comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. He's like it. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Alright. We'll take a look around, if that's alright. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. Look at first hand. Contains important information about a person in his link to. You first these hints at any given moment through your haunting cases. You understand why a ghost lingers in incarnate. Let's get a hint about each involved inhabitant. Most hints have all been uncovered. The inhabitants is hit. I can't read that fast. I'll be stuttering. Read all that? Okay. Don't fail, August. 1694. My sweet Esther. I was down and yet you were there to support me. You're an angel from heaven. Help me in my dark mission. You're the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible. And yet, I feel so sorry for bringing you to this tortured land. You know well that things are not as they should be in New Eden. And I am sorry to have you by my side. But I fear for your life. I wish we could have found a quieter corner in this land. Let's raise our children. I fear a curse. I think we should leave. Perhaps you should go ahead. I defend our home. Think about it. For I cannot bear the thought of darkness taking a, take you away from me. Love forever. Charles. You had a feeling. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. 
So do we, Esther. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Yeah, that's nice. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Hmm. It goes there. Mess it on me. My dear Charles, my delight, how delighted I, I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we can, could not find anything in our archive that matched his description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are from <laughs> phenomena, perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause, I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an decor. Did I pronounce that? <laughs> or something else attacked? Can I say? All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all your observations. A brother of St. Paul's soul. So little presence in the new world. New information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Yours truly, Eleanor Pope. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. That's very kind, but have a long day ahead of us. We don't want to bother you. I don't have much, but promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow, for all time's sake. Of course. We'll be down. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Probably. Okay. 
reflection book. Bible verses. Job 7. 13, 15. When I say, my bed shall comfort me. My couch shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifies <laughs> terif me visions so that my soul chose of strangling in death rather than my life he comes to me in dreams huh. Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7 verses 13 to 15 I'll look for that reference Red you dropped something hmm you notice that people, oh, you know those that fall off your in front of your face, bro. Charles notes. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions, foreshadowing. Someone behind this. Who is the real target, and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. We no longer offers rest and disconnect her door. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? worried about the influence the threatening spirit had on the settlers' dreams. Hmm. Having seen her husband's ghost, grieving widow, Esther Devonport was deeply distressed. All right. When I first met Charles, he was reading his Bible in a noisy tavern. I was drunk. He pretended not to notice. this side of the water and few on the other know that I came to New Eden as a minister in order to pursue pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's soul and what strangeness has have I found there are ghosts here yes Odin Innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, out loud. But I suspect that there be witches. If I find one, I shall very much like to ask her for a story. You really want to ask, or you don't do the whole witch trial thing? Anything? No chess piece. Versus King from a chess set. Put it by a glass dome. 
That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. Oh. You're a good player. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. Something must have really triggered him if he lost his edge. Where did it come from? Man, all this reading, man. And some of these words I can't even pronounce. come from I remember teaching or remember the teaching of my of my masters and God bless their souls it's the threatening unknown when the common knowledge is not enough to understand a situation the sagacious and pious man will wisely turn the very roots of his art. Why keep doing that? Jeez. Sorry, y'all. My phone you my phone, my phone keep going off. I don't know what's going on with it. I get checked. Where was that? Will wisely turn to the very roots of his art. The word, the meaning, power hidden in each of them. Nightmare has nothing to do with the nocturnal female horse, as in the French or German blah, blah, blah. mare. Here from the 12th century Middle Dutch. And means ghost or demon. A nightmare is not a puny fiend sneaking into the bedroom to suffocate the dreamers, but one of the rarest and most powerful spirit you can find. By its purpose, one only purpose: to spread its insidious, unforgiving wrath upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research. No ghost has ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years. But the terrifying abilities of such entities, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets, to influence their thoughts and perceptions make them endure their worst fears. It was even bend in existence or all the time, creating tantalizing and personalized nightmare. Its victim can't hope to escape from. Such a petrifying concept. I pray God for all my heart and soul that this is not what has risen upon us. How will we then escape despair, death, and doom? I need more information, but where to find them? Charles Davenport. All that reading. Brooch. Little brooch habitually worn by Charles Davenport. Engraved with a distinctive three hooded sword. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Got enough books, Charles. No, I should have known you wouldn't travel without them. Right then. Thought to know. 
three drops of lavender oil and meal infusion before sleep. Put the green to rub between palms and behind ears three times a day. Restlessness persists. Use the bomb. Evelyn. Hey, the other one. Children's palm. Low. Children are in are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Palm. Seven three. Can't see this one. I sent letters to Esther's sister. My dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which what day it is and how long ago my child departed. My work has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. Why did I attend the burial? Shame of it. I have failed my dear husband. I should not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. Dead to see him buried. Lord have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. Who Eden will not last longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words that in me. But I thought that you loved them so you know the past. I love Esther. Hmm. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Could that be the reason why he's there? She didn't, she didn't attend the funeral? At some point, she did not properly pretend for her, for her husband. And now she suffers from it. That part was all. Now. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Esther. I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? I bearing up. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail, Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Do you have bad dreams? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. Uh, 
We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Out of here. Are you be all right? I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. <laughs> For me. I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. Okay, there. Be warned. Okay. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte. Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant. Stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Oh, look. I'm broke. You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rowed ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Uh, no. Along the coast, by a path remarkable what? for its angry spectres and bloody corpses. If you oh. wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Go for it. <laughs> the nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. <laughs> I won't even charge you for it. I appreciate it. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. 
A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. That's not how it works. I investigate hauntings, and when I know why the ghost is here and where it hides, I banish it. I do not sell trinkets. What about those rings you wear? I made them. They are mine. They only have power if the wearer has training. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Good day. A wisp. Hey. So close to hey. town. Where are you leading me? Oh! Here. Whoa! Oh! You can feel presence, or feel places, or objects that can be marked by a ghost. The proximity to these elements is main ring for trigger. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. to reveal it. If I mix the stones I found earlier with seashore candle, that might do it. There you go. I'm back. Passed out. <laughs> Started recording at one o'clock. Now six. <laughs> Many dead in more recent years. There should be seashore candle near the water. Down here. Sure. 
candle. Alright. Wait, that's how far we can go? Wow, that's a little fair right there. We thought we were going to sand. Guess not. Whoa! What's that? Back up. Too slow. What is that? Just went to the green. Right. We don't climb. Okay, let's go back to when they do a ritual. <sighs> All right, now finals. That's all I need. All right. Where's that low and come from? Yeah. Let me see here. I don't know where. right there. Form rituals, the nature, the nature of the site determines which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources, even if you select it. it. So we can waste our resources then. Dang. To rebuild the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. And that this will help one to tune into a fading but persistent memory left by a lingering ghost. The compelling words, carving, or drawing of the Leo constellation. In each stain hides a story. Huh. Oh. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me. 
clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. Yellow? What's the book? Damn it. That thing he faced, what was it? Facing a terrifying entity, threatening New Eden. Show us that for it. Heart gave out. Oh, the Bible. I was about found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. Opened at job thirteen fifteen. <clears throat> hey, that's the, that was the same verses that were in his, his room, buddy. This tie is doused with the essence of. Charles Glow Ghost. Sorry, I'm still awake right now. <laughs> or some close sleeping. Whew. After a closure performed by Antea. The bond between the ghosts and the world will be severed for good. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. If I can find his grave. Yeah, we can find it. Can we do that with the sleeper real quick? What are you? I don't say where you are. You the nightmares or something? I collect resources, you go come out of nowhere. I collect stuff. Where are you? These tombs are more lavish. Charles's should be around here somewhere. I think over here. There you are. Huh. Here you are. That means if you can leave Take the wrong one, you could have wasted it. You gotta miss manifest him, so we gotta make him to make a manifest. What's the ghost or expected to appear? Using or knowing the tie that binds a ghost to the incarnate is generally necessary. Such a ritual may be channeled through compelling words, carving, and drawing. Of the of the Taurus constellation. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. 
Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. <laughs> Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And here, here, at last. You recognize us? Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend, I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. What did you learn about the curse? Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, okay. which I do not. Dantea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. How did this nightmare kill you? How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seems amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. Hmm. How does its malevolence manifest? What did it look like? Might be, I'd be better understand to know what it looked like. What did it look like? I don't know. Oh, when it wow. manifested, it appeared as Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. Oh. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. 
I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Oh. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your Antia, soul. wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Still this oh Lord, papers. please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. Well, we can. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. My child, where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Good night. No longer linger right here. Gotta be at peace. Oh, Charles. Back home. I'm yeah. sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Good night, my dear. Good night. The red. Hmm. Oh, is that case closed somewhere? Going red right at the schoolhouse. Oh, 
should be empty because they said earlier everything's like closed. Sleep and I gotta bring up some more reading. As banishers, we are no spiritual guides or inquisitors. We are ghost hunters for hire, specialized and sensitive crafters who train hard to protect living things through our rituals and knowledge about ghost specters. We are no cult. There is no heresy or established dogma among us. The most obvious reason is why we, a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead. Whatever the reason. We are efficient, adaptive, and versatile. Our community is first forest and nomadic. Just like our predecessors were, we wander the world in search of living victims of the dead, cleansing haunting cases, techniques tried and trusted and honed by generations of masters and pupils, releasing or banishing the ghosts, rarely blaming the living. Unlike puny sorcerers, we do not waste our time crafting enchanted rifles with the butt, barrel and stock engraved with runes and other symbols of power for hunting specters or otherwise. Who would wish to depend on a single weapon? Instead, we bring our main powder, prepared according to recipes and it down from generation to generation, rendering any firearm capable of shooting and damaging a supernatural target. No matter what the ammunition, efficient, adaptive, and versatile. Our knowledge of alchemy and Musani help us selecting materials and plants whose propi- Whose properties will support our work. We do not waste time in libraries or school rooms. We do not waste our time drawing, carving, or engraving complex circles of powder. Or what we gain in power nuance. We lost we lost twice as much. One more in time, risking putting ourselves and those around us in unnecessary danger. Instead, a clever banisher carries stamps in wood or metal with which to mark a door, wall, or stone with the necessary symbol for the appropriate ritual. We also wear rings upon our fingers with these symbols. So we always have a range of powerful runes close at hand, as it were. Efficient, adaptive, and style. They love the three words. Thus we prevail. Thus we fight. Thus we send back the creeping dead where they are supposed to be. From death to the dead. Off thoughts, sir. H. Bernhofer. A lot of rain in this game. Don't need to know like how the banishers do anything. 
they don't just, just focus on one thing. They actually just, just focus on a whole bunch of things to take advantage. Because of fighting these things. Good man. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? I'm pretty sure if Charles is in the same situation, he would, he would want to do the same thing. Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing, Banishing his ghost up. wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal <laughs> essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't. Eh? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. I hope it don't get worse the next one. <sighs> Poor Charles. Poor Esther. For Esther. Whoa. Whoa. I tell you, the dream more next morning. She took her fire bean. <laughs> she says I'm the reckless one. Shall we be up first? Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, sorry. Hey, Who's there? Antea? What was that? I think I heard that right. Why would you go up there alone? Stupid. I'm open. And here! There you are. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Don't suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? But 
You're the boss of the whole You could have included me. You see, we never stood a chance. Antea, are you hot? Where are you? What's wrong? I'm here, my love. What happened? Are you injured? I'll sleep down. <laughs> I'm here, my love. How mundane. Show yourself. God came to the man That's in a dream it. and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? Will you slay the righteous? Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Oh, I'm going Even here. Betrayer. Oh, oh, oh God. Again. there's no need to fight. Come on. Okay, they're mad. I need to do both these are hard. Right.
Three blind minds. Three blind. Three blind. Your lover will betray you too. We want to help. They do. We mean. Three blind minds. Three blind minds. See how they run. You two will be consumed. Come here. There's no need to fight. Come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your marrow, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. Go for it. Go out. 
Give me to get that gold. Will you come to her aid now, when all is lost? If you do, I'll be waiting. We got five. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? Who are you? I feel like we've met, but... I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever. But do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Oh. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and then answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? <sighs> of course it matters. Means you're alive, and you haven't given up. Who sent you? Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands Ready. and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. Said Hadin, this little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Sir Ridian. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular, and while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. Oh. Is that a clear boy in the sun? What's the nightmare? This nightmare. How it spoke. It tore right through her. Never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? 
Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. A friend said that. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. Oh. You have wise friends. Now. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. Did it done. <laughs> have faith. You say that you do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You've a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall gotcha. between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. Alright then, I appreciate the help. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm oh, leaving. Okay. Zulo, an exiler, the Frankish Banja, exiler or banisher, the wandering exiler, the banisher, in ancient Greece, was there the Metrocrites? They called the wandering beggar priest. Look the place they went. This place went day. Singing songs and banning. And banging. Jeez. Even though I'm taking my time, I still will be at reading it. Read it. Jeez. Banging drums that spirits of the dead become or set free or exile. This is why. Dad, my gun. Don't go focus. This is the honor of the long dead. 
Bastion. Magician. Morpheus. You whose love for Erodice was so powerful that he followed her through the land of the dead and into the abyss. Won her freedom and fear brought her back. As the world grew, so too did the knowledge of these sons and daughters of Morpheus. But some did not embrace the new wisdom. They learned not and remained favorite beggar priests. Through shapes and patterns seen and heard. From inequity to modern times, these wanderers used the new laws of the universe to open the gates and send spirits of the dead away. Serve the living, banishers destroy the dead. But they know little. They have forgotten their parentage. They have lost touch with who, with we who see the colors and the shades of all the light and all the dark, the good and bad and everything, living and dead. The banishers have their uses. Yes, as the hammer has its use when driving, when driven a nail must be. But the hammer does not care about the plank or the nail, nor does it understand it is made with the same wood or iron. And iron. Banishers know nothing of the hemp, for they are not. It might never be one of us. Angle. They do not stand between the world of women and men in everlasting darkness. They do not administer to the do not minister to the dead so that the living may live. They do not know. But they are not witches. They are yet the children of Morpheus and they do not look back. From letters to the under. My mother shipped it. It's a long read. This magic, magic, if you read this, it means that one, you have enough brain to know the alphabet. Two, you have not resisted going through what I left behind. Three, let me take whatever you deem useful since my mistress wants you to live. We shall meet soon enough. So then, he will. See. What she does with me knows, he look around. I don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Stay there. If I stay away from it, you know, curious. You have to kill the cat, so I'm not looking for any further. Oh! Oh. Leather. Where am I? Where are you? Whoa, we some, oh, we some place else. Whoa, where are we at? To the map. Where about we go? Whole new world. Whole new world. <laughs> going through, so we can figure out what's going on here. People in space. Before you go, hold on, let me see the, the horizon now, hold on.
bad destruction, but look. You look at the scenery, it looks beautiful out here. That beautiful sky. Amazing huge construction on this place. So nice. Still going. Oh. That left the ball for your hand. You go through. I'll control it. Down, down. It's stuck. Damn it. What am I doing here? Let's have to figure out. I don't know what the place is. to enemies that are out of sight. Different colors indicate different babies. Red incoming attack, orange oncoming attack, I mean, incoming projectile, green incoming possession. Possession? You can possess me? All right. Hold on a second, y'all, be right back. Come back, y'all. Had to snack on something real quick. Come on, you mongrels! Come on! Down! Bring it! Nope! Boom. 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 What in the hell am I doing? Surviving, that's what you're doing. Learn it. Is it you or them? Now they're gonna be me. What if it's in there? Am I the last bloody living soul here? That's what I feel like. Down here. What just? A loop. He ain't got the money. How? 
I was dodging. Get burnt. Close, <laughs> man. Survive. God. What is happening? Antea, call me to you. Where am I? Where am I? Where are you? Hello, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Stuck. Where are you at? Stuck. I'm here. Lead me to you. I have you. You have me. Follow me. Where are you going? Over here. Oh, 
be teleporting while I'm walking. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Where have you gone? Antea! Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible, the tie that bound his ghost. Some essence remains upon it. For now, it will do me. Be there for a second, like physically. I needed this. I feel better. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Awful. And with a few more words? Angry, frustrated, useless. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. I fell into the sea. After the nightmare killed you, she helped me a moment longer. She mocked me. And she let me fall. I waited for the rocks to claim me, but instead I hit the sea. Part of me wished to embrace it. I think I felt you at this point. I remember the despair in your voice. I called to you for a long time. Struggled in the waves till the tide brought me ashore. I woke up in a cave, been rescued by a young woman named Seeker, a witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help uh. us. So run away. We should run away from all this. I sense the nightmare's presence near my body. I won't be free till we've reclaimed it. I oh, refuse yeah, right. to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. 
I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before oh. I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. Did I bring you back? In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me and I'd bring you back. Red, it's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe we could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. I give you your consent? Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, Mother. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close. Unveil. <clears throat> Kill tree. And then can now uh, can allow Red to see the world from the other side of the veil. And uncover Ethereal elements such as spectral stains of or web combat and death deal increased damage to the death corpses. That one. Speeding up. Upgrade your equipment. That doesn't allow you to upgrade your equipment via the inventory menu. your equipment improves the bonuses but requires resources you can access the upgrades being used by hovering equipment slot and pressing square we can get other outfits cool
All right then. I think I'm gonna end it right here on this note. So far, this is the start to the game. We got dark real quick from losing our friend. And now losing Anthea. Now she with us as a ghost now. Let's see, maybe we'll try to help her get to her body and maybe she'll come back to life. We'll see what happens if progresses. But you did say that in order to get her back, it's going to be a dark ritual. That means taking out people. But we'll see what, what we do from that. If you like this video, if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Big boy Shango. Chief Shango. And I am out. Peace.